All right, so right here I've got as an original Sprint iPhone 4S that's actually unlocked for AT&T. I'm going to show you guys an issue that's pretty common with the uh, CDMA phones that are unlocked for AT&T. Um, but anyway, so what happens is you can make calls, you can send texts and whatnot, but you go to use your data. Um, let's try going to Facebook. Let's see Facebook. Okay. And then what it will do is it'll display this message that says, you are not subscribed to a cellular data service. Uh, now, if you look up at the top and you see your 4G up at the top, um, then there's a process you have to do in order to edit your APN settings, which I'm going to show you. I've got a pretty cool way that's really easy. Um, if you don't see 4G, the first thing you want to do is go in and turn on your cellular data. You'll see it right up here, 4G enabled. Sometimes I'll just say 3G. Uh, but then cellular data, you want to make sure that's turned on. And if you're on T-Mobile, if your edge isn't showing up at the top, you want to make sure that data roaming is turned on. So always make sure. Sometimes data roaming will actually turn itself off when you shut your phone down. So if you turn your phone back on and suddenly it doesn't work, you just want to make sure that your data roaming is turned on um, and it should show up. Uh, but anyways, even with all this here you can see 4G up at the top. You go and you try to go to a web page, and it gives you this uh, it gives you this message right here. And the reason is we have to uh, edit the APN settings. So I'm going to show you guys the the easiest way to edit your APN settings, and this works for any carrier, whether it's T-Mobile, AT&T, whatever. Um, so the old-fashioned way would be to go into uh, right here into your network, and then you select cellular data network, and you got to fill this stuff out one at a time. But I have a much, much, much easier way. First thing that you want to do, if you can, is uh, connect to Wi-Fi. Um, we'll go ahead and select my Wi-Fi network right here. If you can't connect to Wi-Fi, you may just have to do it the old-fashioned way and copy it over manually. But once you're connected to Wi-Fi, then go ahead and, and go into your uh, Safari. And you're going to go to unlockit.com. Let's see, unlockit.co.nz. And so it's U-N-L-O-C-K-I-T dot c o dot n z n z i think yes like 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 this <laughs> okay so once you have that into your address bar go ahead and hit send it will take you to this website right here uh, you're going to click continue then you're going to click custom apn then you're going to select where you're from there's all the different countries so I'm from the United States, and the carrier is AT&T. This is not your original carrier, but the carrier in which you're unlocking it for. So if you unlocked it for T-Mobile, then you'd select T-Mobile. Or in my case, it's AT&T. But actually, if we scroll down, we've got AT&T right here, but we want it to be unlocked um, so that 4G will work. So if we come down, we'll see AT&T. Where is that? I know it's here somewhere. All right, so AT&T HSPA Plus. Now, the HSPA Plus is uh, technically AT&T's version of 4G, so we want it to run on the HSPA Plus. So we'll go ahead and select that one right there, and then uh, hit Done, and then Create Profile. And it will bring you here onto your phone, and then you click Install. Okay. Now that has just installed my APN settings for me, which is pretty cool. It also installed this little app on here. So you can go ahead and change that or uninstall it any time that you need to. But uh, if we go ahead and turn off our uh, Wi-Fi so that it will by default choose the 4G network. And then now we try to go to Facebook again. Facebook.com. I'm, uh, hopefully I'm in a good service area. Yeah, as you can see, you don't get that message anymore. It will load up Facebook. Uh, so now my APN settings are set, and it set it for me automatically, which is pretty freaking sweet, um, easy to do. Uh, let me know if that works for you guys. If you have any other questions about this or issues regarding this matter, um, feel free to send me a, uh, a message or a comment at the bottom. Thank you.